Peppa Pig, Tony the Tiger, Blue's Clues. That's not what we're talking about. Today, let's take a look at some more R-rated Funko Pop. I put together another pretty good list of them here that I think you guys are gonna enjoy and I also picked up some new ones specifically for today. And I have a feeling that one of these characters is gonna make you say, why did Funko even make this? And so now, let's just jump into the first one here which is going to be from South Park, it's Hanky the Christmas Boo. You know, a special gift that comes from you. I've talked about South Park ones being pretty R-rated in the past but I felt like with this one here, it was just so perfect because come on, he's a piece of boo. There is definitely gonna be a lot of bleeping in this video. <laughs> <laughs> this is just such a weird figure. I mean, it's literally a floating turd and he's got a face. I mean, come on, Funko, what's going on here? And now I understand that South Park is a huge show. Everybody loves Hanky, but just to see him in Funko Pop form, it's so odd. I had to pick him up when he first released. Now we are getting a lot creepier because we have Jack Torrance from The Shining, a super R-rated movie. And there's a few interesting things going on with this pop. And you may notice right away that he's a bit bluer here than it shows on the front of the box. That's because this here is the chase version, which is a one in six chance of getting it. And it's actually the scene where he's dead. Also, something really interesting about these characters here is that on the front of The Shining pops, it actually has the word red rum. And no, it's not just from the 21 Savage songs. It actually is backwards for murder. The R's make it super menacing. That's why they call it murder and not muck duck. And now here's the thing, everybody. If I just had the normal version of Jack Torrance, it would still be an R-rated character with all of the blood splatter all over it. But because it's frozen, it is like double R-rated. <laughs> What does that even mean? Now let's jump into another film that we've got, everybody. It is Pulp Fiction, where I have both Jules and Vincent Vega. If you've seen Pulp Fiction, you would know that this is definitely an R-rated movie, with there just being like excessive violence, and swearing. And these two here are a bit of an older set of characters. Like they released, I want to say in like 2012, 2013. So they don't have as much detail as some of the newer characters would have. But I do still think that they're R-rated because of the movie as well as, ha, if you look at them closely, they're both holding, let me believe it for you, Oh, and now if these weren't R-rated enough for you, there are also bloody versions, which are super expensive now and I would love to have in the collection. But for now, I'm okay with just these two. No, 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 where'd you get them? McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, where? Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger. Now here's a character that I specifically picked up for today just because I thought, how weird is this? We have Laura Palmer from Twin Peaks. If you're unaware, in Twin Peaks, this specific shot of Laura Palmer, she is just a wrapped up dead body. And I remember when they first announced this character, everybody was like, why is Funko just creating a dead person? And well, here it is now. Years and years later, an R-rated character. And I want to take this one out of the box because there's some interesting stuff going on with her. Oh, and also the backdrop inside of the box is literally just the gravel that she's laying on. And then if you take a look at the character, I mean, it's an interesting one, that's for sure. But, uh, I mean, come on, what is this? <laughs> Definitely an odd one. And if you see, like, underneath whatever she's wrapped in, she's also not wearing much either. Now, going back to the beginning of the video when we talked about Blue's Clues and Peppa Pig, this is a 180 from those. And now I know what you guys are thinking. Tristan, how do you even stand this thing up or display it? Because she would be like this for most of the time. But they actually gave a pretty unique base in this one. Take a look at it here. It's almost like you're propping up an actual dead body. I don't know. It's just is so weird in my opinion, but I wanted to pick it up to show you guys because look at this. Then she just kind of floats on your shelf like this. What? I know, I know it's weird, but that's also what makes it R-rated. Now for this next R-rated character, let's make it a little more fun because we have Deadpool from the brand new Deadpool and Wolverine movie. I just picked up this one the other day at Comic-Con, so I think it is so cool they were able to talk about it in this video, but that's not the only one that I've got. I also was able to grab Wolverine. Take a look. So excited that I was able to add these to the collection. And the reason that this is R-rated is not for all of the other reasons that we've talked about today. It's because it's kind of like a 
funny R-rated comedy while still being gory at the same time. Something that I also love about Deadpool is that they break a lot of fourth walls. And if you guys don't know what that means, he'll like address the audience or talk about other movies like he knows about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's funny. And so now I understand just looking at these characters, they aren't R-rated, but the film to go along with them, of course it is. Also, I am glad for this one here that they did not do an unmasked version of them. If you've seen what's under Deadpool's mask, yeesh. Want to talk about what's haunting you or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go f*** yourself. It's just a little bit weird, but either way, still some really amazing characters and I just love that Funko actually made these. And I say that because this is actually the first time we've ever got Deadpool pops for the movies. Now this next one that I've got here is another one that doesn't exactly look R-rated right away, but it's John Wick. And now before we even talk about him, something that I just noticed on the back here to make it a little bit more R-rated or just to show you guys, I mean there's literally bullet holes. So as you can see, the rating is getting higher and higher, definitely not 14A. And also just like another reason why this movie is so R-rated is because of the blood and gore to go along with it. Because of the amount of that happens in this movie. Can I use that word? Unaliving? I just, that, that sounds so funny to me. Also, if you guys have seen the film before, you would know John Wick with his dog is a pretty cool figure to have because, well, I'm not gonna get into it. Oh, and also, I've gotta say, the size of that they gave him in this figure, I believe it also has maybe a suppressor on the front there. You can see it's just like a little bit longer than a usual one. It really does have a lot of detail, and that could be another reason, too, for just the figure alone. All right, now this next one that I've got here is a pretty funny one. Coming in from SNL, it is in a box. <laughs> this here, if you guys don't know, is Andy Sandberg and Justin Timberlake. Oh, hey, pretty fitting again. Maybe even making it a little bit more R-rated, but already with the sketch, it is pretty R-rated in itself. But anyways, getting into these ones here, it's literally a skit where they go, it's my in a box. That, that's literally it, I think. I mean, they don't really dive into the lore of a in a box, but you could definitely see the two of them here with a in the box. I'll stop saying it, but it is still such a funny sketch for Funko to create and having it in a two pack like this, come on. Alrighty, now we have our largest R-rated character of the day. This one here is the king of Rick. The reason that I wanted to put this one on here is because of, of course, the swear words, but we also have, well, something interesting that goes along with this one that's kind of similar to Hanky the Christmas Boo. You know, the one that we talked about earlier, the special gift that comes from you. Whatever, let's get to the Rick, though, because it's not just a normal character. On the front of the box, you may have seen that it says with sound, and that's because when you press this button here, it actually makes sound. <laughs> uh, there's also a few other things as well. Rick and Morty isn't the most like kid-friendly show. It's very funny, of course, but you need high IQ to understand it. And when it comes to this one here, he's got his pants pulled down. So like just in general, there's a lot going on here. And I thought this was a really funny episode. And you can also pick up a Tony figure too. You need someone to give you <clears throat> permission to live. What the? I thought you were a shy pooper. It's a pretty good one, and so is this R-rated figure. And well, anyways, everybody, there we go. That is all of the R-rated Funko Pops that I have for you today. And let me know in the comment section below which one do you think was the most R-rated. I'd love to hear it. And anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow.